Y ahora sí, estamos al aire. ¿Cómo están? ¿Cómo están todos? Buenas noches a todos. Hoy no está tan frío como la semana pasada. Así que yo siempre trato de querer, y yo le digo a Guillermo y a Ana, quiero verme natural en el video, pero cuando veo mis videos me veo rarísimo. <risa> no se ve natural. <risa> y yo digo, ¿qué es lo que tengo que hacer para verme natural? Pero bueno, no importa, ya estamos aquí, ya estamos aquí, entonces um, quiero contarles cositas. Antes de que empecemos, quería contarles de qué se trata el programa. Yo siempre lo hago porque pues siempre va a haber gente nueva que se conecte y que se dé cuenta más o menos de qué se trata nuestro programa. En inglés, Beyond Beauty. En español, belleza y algo más. ¿De qué se trata? Nosotros tenemos temas de belleza, pero que van mucho más allá de la belleza. Por ejemplo, cuando traemos invitadas, nos hablan de su carrera profesional. Ellas están la mayoría en el medio de la belleza, la industria del fashion, la industria del maquillaje, modelaje... Eh, actuación y todo este tipo de um, actividades, pero tienen algo más que contar. Tienen una historia, nos traen cositas para motivarnos, nos traen historias que nos, pueden, que nos podemos sentir relacionadas con ellas y sentir que tenemos una voz que escuchar para que así nos motivemos nosotras también. Oh, tengo mis lentes por acá. Bueno, entonces eso es de qué se trata el programa Beyond Beauty y Más Allá de la Belleza. El programa es bilingüe. Why? Why is bilingual? Because we have uh, Spanish speakers and we have English speaker, speakers uh, guests. For example, tonight we have a speaker, we have a guest. Uh, her name is Samantha Tajik. And she used to be, uh, she's a former Miss Universe Canada. And she has a lot to tell us. So get connected. Don't miss the interview. She's about to come in a minute. She's going to be here in a bit. And we are very happy to have her, okay? So that's why we speak Spanish. We speak, let's say, Spanglish. <laughs> so we have audience in Spanish. We have audience in English. And she's Persian, so I hope all the Persian community is connected so you get to know more Samantha Tajik. She's gorgeous. She's amazing. I like the fact that she's very smart and she's going to um, share some of her uh, ventures as an entrepreneur. So I think she's here right now. So before we start, I quiero hablar un poquito acerca de Latinas Business Woman. This conference, the conferencia, la conferencia va a estar um, tomando lugar diciembre 15. Esto es un domingo. Así que es importante que todas las chicas emprendedoras, aquellas que quieren iniciar su negocio, que ya tienen su pequeño negocio o que tienen una idea pero no saben cómo, um, digamos, visualizarla, cómo llevarla a cabo, cómo ponerla en acción, we are going to give you some tips. Tengo la, el honor de haber sido invitada como una de las oradoras. Entonces me alegra muchísimo que yo pueda compartir algo de lo que he aprendido a través de, este, de esta aventura de tener uno su propio negocio. A aprender de los miedos, aprender de la, del rechazo. What is fear, what's rejection, and how to handle that. De acuerdo a tu propio negocio, de acuerdo a lo que tú estás queriendo proyectar. Todas no estamos en la misma industria, pero todas somos humanas. We all feel, we are... Uh, feel like disappointed, sometimes we feel depression, sometimes we feel like, I don't know if this is for me, yo no sé si esto es para mí, pero we have to keep going. And la conferencia está diseñada precisamente para ayudarte. También hay cositas, por ejemplo, hay muchas que quieren iniciar su negocio desde su casa. ¿Cómo inicio mi negocio desde mi casa? How can I work from home? What is the right path to go? to work from home. For example, in terms of insurance, uh, las que necesitan seguro, necesitas un license, if you need permits, whatever you need, we're going to talk about all that. Vamos a hablar de todas estas cositas and I think it's very important that we are connected to this conference because it's going to be so helpful. It's a resource for all the entrepreneurs, all the businesswomen, so get connected, be there December 15th. And if you are connected, go to Facebook or Instagram and it's going to be at Latinas Business Woman. Okay, so 
Thank you so much for being connected. I, I have more to tell you about the conference and we're going to be back in a minute. We're going now to commercials and we'll see you later. Hola, mi nombre es Leticia Torrejón y soy asesora financiera en The Cooperators. Estamos comprometidos en trabajar con nuestra comunidad para crear un mejor lugar para todos. Nuestro objetivo es ayudarlos a coger el seguro adecuado y alcanzar sus metas financieras para el futuro. Con nosotros usted puede escoger un plan de seguros de casa, automóviles, vida, salud, seguros grupales, negocios, viajes o el plan de seguro agrícola más adecuado. The Cooperator tiene una manera diferente de hacer negocios. Nuestro valor agregado se basa en tomar decisiones teniendo en cuenta lo que es mejor para nuestros clientes y la comunidad. Por décadas hemos ayudado a los canadienses a cuidar de sus intereses más importantes. Déjeme mostrarles por qué The Cooperator es el mejor lugar para usted. Contáctenos. <laughs> and we are back thank you so much for waiting so we have our guests over here and we are very excited to share some uh beautiful and gorgeous um stories about her um in the meantime she's here sitting with me i'm going to tell you a little bit about my business what is my business we were talking about latina's business woman right so uh being a small business entrepreneur my business is about beauty so the main idea is to teach uh classes makeup classes and abdu classes and uh, what we do is we cover all the needs for people who needs beauty things like makeup and hair so for example bridal season we cover the bridal season we have a team of 15 or 20 makeup artists and her stylist and we cover all over the gta we also travel to niagara we travel to any uh city you need us so it's very important that you know and that you have a professional team for your beauty needs the day or your wedding the day or your photo shoot if you have a fashion show whatever you need in terms of beauty we cover it also if we you need a photographer you need a videographer just let us know so you're going to see the information in the banner down here up there so you're going to see our information if you need to contact us just feel free we're going to give you a quotation for the services okay so the brides get ready for the 2020 because we are super ready with the new trends in beauty new trends in makeup new trends in abdus so get ready we're going we're coming soon with samantha tajik so we're going to commercials and we'll be back hey gorgeous hey. <laughs> <laughs> No, ya trajeron las luces. Okay, this is the this is the program. You can you can start sharing. Oh, okay. If I so this is your water. Congratulations. Good luck with your line. Yeah, that's the thing you Story. Oh yeah, we can share, share it right now. Well, yeah, oh, it. just if I put share yeah, now, it'll be the link, the live yeah. link, right? Thank you. Yes, okay. and we're gonna be there in like a minute when we come back from, okay. from commercials. Give me more. Bar. Oh, okay. It's, I think. Yes. Como es Instagram ahí? Sí, Instagram es. Yeah. Um. Okay. <laughs> the main camera is this the main camera is, this main camera is that okay. one. This is only uh live. Gotcha. This is Instagram Live. Nice. Is, is Jagger connected? Uh, he, he's actually working, but he said he's going to try to watch it from work. So okay. Hopefully. I hope yeah. so. He said he will, but we'll, we'll see. <laughs> I know. He's yeah. always busy. He's always doing it. Okay. I love your hair, Samantha. Thank you. I, I, I'm I debating if I want to stay. Uh, I did it in Eden Center. 
Um, it's her amazing. Name is Flora. So yeah, she did a really good job. But I actually cut so much of it off. It was so. Ay, I am But it was so stringy at the bottom. So I cut it off, but now it's like, so like I don't know. Maybe well, I'm like, yeah, kind of tired That's of blonde amazing. already. No, you look good. I love it. I like this one too. Really? Do you know what's really funny? I thought I saw some. I saw somebody, I thought it was you. And so I chased her to say hi, and I was like, oh, she's like, who are you? Like, oh, sorry. oh my god. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. That's funny. Okay, my darling. So I think it's gonna be very relaxed. Yeah. I'm going to come in yeah. about you are very, you know, used to this. So I yes. need to explain too much. <laughs> okay. Water for you? I have, thank you. Awesome. Oh, really? We are? <laughs> are we? <laughs> so we are here with Samantha. Hi, Samantha. <laughs> That's a good surprise. We wanted it to be very natural. <laughs> very natural. Remember that I told you we always want to be natural. So. <laughs> Hi, Samantha. Thank you very much for being Thank here. Thank you for having me. Congratulations on your lovely show. I know Thank you're always you. doing one thing or another. So if it's not your makeup, your beauty stuff, your makeup line. Photos. I mean, it's endless and that's that's amazing. That's beauty with a purpose because you're always coming up with the next thing. So. Oh, thank you, Samantha. So bad today is about you. It's not about me. So we want to know more about you, Samantha. So uh, I told them already that you were Miss Universe Canada. This is something very exciting because I need to know things about it. So how do you feel at the moment that you were crowned like Miss Universe Canada? And what was the purpose that you have in mind when you got the title? Uh, so of course I was thrilled, um, <laughs> overwhelmed, and honored. It, it, it's truly life-changing as anybody would expect it to be. Uh, I did work really hard to get there, but I think, I think that's anything, anything that you dream of, anything that you're passionate about requires that. Um, and in the moment that I was being crowned, it was like everything kind of went quiet for a second and it sort of, um, as much as you believe it, there's like moments of disbelief <laughs> and, and it's, it's definitely a unique feeling. Um, and, I, I, I mean, I can only hope that everybody gets to experience That's that so in, some, in some way or another in their lifetime. Awesome. So you talk about some moments of quiet time, moments that you said, oh my God, I don't even know if this is for me or not. So talking about that, what's the message that you have for these girls that are thriving to get this Miss Universe thing? And you know all of them because you mm -hmm. train them mm -hmm. and you are giving that message of empowering. So what do you want to tell them right now in terms of how can you feel that you can, that you got it? Like, despite of all the bad moments? I have to tell you, Paula, it, it has been the most fulfilling thing in my life, coaching, mentoring, mm -hmm. and training these girls. Um, and the first time one of the girls I trained was Crown Miss Universe Canada, which was Elena Semikina. Oh I felt God. even better than when I was Crown Miss <laughs> Universe Canada. Because so it's I think kind of your daughter, it's right? It's like, I can't, it's undescribable. And that's when I kind of knew I was onto something and, and, and I felt that fulfillment and I couldn't go back anymore. And so oh, since God. then, it's been, that's you know, so any chance, any opportunity I have to encourage um, and mentor these oh. girls, mm -hmm. uh, I, I usually jump on it because I think that um, they, they truly all have what it takes to have gotten to the point that they're at. That they need the they're, little... They need that extra little push. And, and you know, when people ask me about this training, it's really hard for me to um, explain to each person that everyone has to be assessed and I'll be able to know what they can improve on because everyone's different. And really, it's a growth process. So I, my message to these girls is to look inside themselves, see what they need to improve on and grow within, believe in themselves, um, be ready to put in the work because I think determination and uh, desire and um, those things, it, it, are like the most important things when trying to go after a goal like this. This is and consistency. You have to be consistent. You consistent, can't put an effort consistent. only in one day and expect the outcome. It's all about being consistent with the effort that That's you're putting good. in 
every day to achieve this. I love that, Samantha. And you know, to me, it's very, um, it's a fulfilling also working for Miss Universe because you know, these days people said, oh, beauty pageants, oh, come on. This is something that is very vain and it's exploiting a uh, woman. And what do you think about that? What do you <coughs> say? What can you tell people, these people, when they said, oh my God, this is vain. This is not something valuable for women. Because I see a lot of girls in Miss Universe. Something that I, it made me stick to Miss Universe was that I see a lot of girls doing amazing things. Yes. Like Charlie, they have their own companies. Mm -hmm. They are pursuing many projects that I was like, oh my God, when I was 20, I wasn't that <laughs> way. <laughs> right? Yeah. yeah so yeah. I, I wanted to, you know, your point of view, because you were there, you had the crown. And I wanted to say to that people, maybe mm -hmm. they're watching right now and say, oh my God, they're talking about Miss Universe or uh, mm -hmm. this beauty pageants. Is that? something I vain and use, absolutely useless. not it is um i mean i of course it sounds like i would take this side but li but listen for a moment <laughs> i think that um you know you have to be open to hearing us out and our perspective i mm -hmm. think it actually empowers women it encourages growth it encourages improvement um if you talk to these girls i think you'll find that whether they won or placed or regardless of the fact they will if they're being honest with you they will tell you that through this process they grew they learned and they did walk away a winner i, I really do believe that they are all winners upon arrival yeah. and upon and upon departure i really That's truly feel true. that way so. because it sounds probably for some people sounds cliche mm -hmm. saying oh you're all Winners. They really are, though. But you know, they what? are. Yes, they are. They are. Because what is just a winner? Right? The fact that you are exposing yourself to criticism mm -hmm. without no mercy, mm -hmm. <laughs> no mercy, because yeah. people are very, you know, cruel to these girls. They mm -hmm. are there and they face, you know, these um, obstacles. They are real winners. They are Honestly. winners. And if you look Honestly. at their bios and see what these girls are about, and if you have an opportunity to talk to these girls, I think that would that would drastically change your point of view because yes. they're definitely not empty. They're definitely not. I get a lot of this in the fashion industry as well. Oh, yeah. So I I'm get people there. asking me all the time about this kind of thing. And, and no, they're, you know, we're not all hangers. We're not all vain. It's, it's not all about outside beauty. And I think that's the message we're trying to clarify for everybody. Everybody exactly. is the deeper part of it. We're quite deep and we have opinions <laughs> and we have things that we're passionate You're about humans. and global change. And, and so I think um, looking at that part of it and the positivity uh, that comes out of it would, would greatly change your perspective on things. That's amazing. That's amazing because many people are, um, judge us because we work in this um, beauty industry. And the purpose of these program is that it's like showing people working in the industry of fashion beauty and uh, you know acting modeling that they are humans they feel they have you know moments of like they cry and they feel like they want to be something good for the world and you know have a good cause and everything that's why i'm inviting you um, i invite you here because i know you have purpose in life and you are teaching these girls to be something else so i wanted to talk about this international model of the year. Mm -hmm. What is that title? So that is a competition that I got to compete in in Korea. Mm -hmm. and, uh, Korea? It was in Korea, wow. yes. And I, and I had the honor once again to represent Canada. And actually, you know, that was very meaningful <laughs> for me. And I'll tell you why, Paula. Have okay. you heard of the movie The Secret? The, the Secret. Oh, yes, yes, yes. So it's yeah, very much like, about yeah, my attraction. The attraction, the love, laws, the attraction, attraction, of course, I watched mindset. that one. All that. So <laughs> these things are, um, again, something I focus on a lot with when I train these girls because I think your your mind is your most powerful tool. And I think this is, is where you need the most training, actually. Mm -hmm. It's not, you know, people ask me, how many hours can you teach someone to walk? It's not that I'm spending hours teaching them to walk. That's, that's a mindset. minor part of it. Mindset is everything. Mindset. Um, they have to learn things like, yes, this will be a painful journey, but if you can recycle your pain, and you can find purpose in that, and you can actually use that to keep yourself motivated and be stronger. Then you know you you can get there, and and so it's about those kinds of tools as as to learning to control your mind, 
and uh, your emotions, your pain, and <laughs> your, your pain. emotions, and making it work for you. So, International Model of the Year. Before I went there, I, I had just watched the movie The Secret, and wow. I, it just sort of impacted me. And I thought, you know what, I'm I'm gonna try this, and I have I have nothing to lose here. Exactly. I've done everything that I can on my part. I've done all the preparing because I'm big on preparation is everything. <laughs> so I did all preparation the preparing. Preparation is everything. <laughs> it Listen, is, right? it, it is. is. Um, so I thought, what what else do I need to do? And I walked into that competition with that wine, mindset that I am the winner. I'm here to take home the crown. Of course, it, I didn't go around saying that to people. <laughs> That's not no, it's something that you have in your mind. <laughs> yes, and you ca you have to keep yourself humble. You have to and be that's humble, amazing. but you have to like live have and breathe that and be power that. in your mind. Exactly, right? you're like every moment, everything that you do, it has to be with that purpose in mind. So when you w wake up, is you know, did you did you get ready? Like, do you look good enough, or do you look the best that you can? Exactly. When you went out downstairs and had an interview, exactly. did you, t you know, were you? just good or again or just did you say the, the best exactly everything has to be again consistency everything has to be your purpose. best and it worked guys because <laughs> i did win international model of the Samantha, year for canada that's so no, that no, is no. proof proof is in the pudding <laughs> <laughs> honestly this is amazing because so. now that you're mentioning that the secret thing i watch it too yeah. and i said at some point i said oh my god this is yes <laughs> I'm sorry. It's okay to question but things. Yeah. It, yeah, of course. I was question, questioning. But after, I said, no, the, the mind, your mind, your brain is the most powerful machine that yes. you can possibly have. Yes. And then you are right. And it's amazing because I was talking to my daughter. She watched this movie, Harriet Tubman. Okay. Do you know about her? She I... delivered all the black uh, community, delivered all the slaves from that. Yeah, so I time. So she's a very she, iconic woman. Yeah. And it's funny because she, when she was uh, free, she was not slave anymore. Uh, someone asked her, what are you going to do right now? And she, when you mention your mind, you have to get rid of your pain. She's mm -hmm. still in the mode of a slave. Mm -hmm. And she was questioning herself if she can deliver all these people from the slavery. Yeah. So the other guy was telling her, it's, it's all about attitude. Yes. You have to feel that you're free, and this is what you're going to show to them. So that's the way they're going to follow you. Yes. So this is very important what you say about attitude yes. and about the mind mindset. It, it's amazing. I'm very happy to hear yes. all those things because you are... <laughs> no, 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 Thank because you. you're very smart. You see how smart she is? <laughs> yeah, people Thank judge you. people because, oh, no, she's only be pretty and, you know, she only likes fashion and look pretty. But no, you have a lot of this little Thank brain. You. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you. you're being hosting TV shows. What's that? When? Where? Uh, so I have hosted... TV show. So I, I actually used to host a show called Entertainment Insider. So okay. we would do on location as well as in studio. Okay. And um, that was quite fun for me because <laughs> I was on the other side of it because yes, yeah, yes. part of my life I was getting interviewed and now Ooh. I got to interview people. Interview people. <laughs> so <laughs> it, it was quite fun. Um, I did it for a while and, you know, I, I ended up growing past it and doing other things, but um not something I would necessarily never do again. It's just Ooh, <coughs> right yeah. now my focus is somewhere else. But um, it was definitely interesting. Something as you interesting. know, as your yeah. host, <laughs> there's a lot of good times. To me, this is really fun and, and, and it's a learning process. Yes. You know, because every time that I interview someone, you learn. You absorb something very interesting from each person. Yes. And to me, to me, this is very valuable. Yes. Honestly, it's an amazing experience. All right, what's the charity work that Samantha is doing right now? Tell me about it. So I it's very important. <laughs> it is very give important. Back. Give back. Giving back to people important. is very important. And you know what I find when you're giving back, often those are and again it's gonna sound cheesy and cheesy you know, of and course the cliche. pastor is saying this. But <laughs> in those moments you can actually catch yourself um, feeling like you're taking away maybe more than you're giving. Uh, to whomever you're helping out. So mm -hmm. uh, I've been involved with numerous different charities. My favorite is always whatever has to do with kids. It's oh, just obviously it's just obviously going to be obviously. the most touching. Um, but right now, what's closest to my heart and that I've been um, really promoting and and, and um, that I love is Feed It Forward, and that's of course. Jagger's <laughs> 
course. <laughs> of course. And, and you know what? It really comes down to everybody's, everybody, uh, it's a necessity. We all need food. Everybody needs to eat. That's um, true. And we all deserve to eat and we all deserve to have good exactly. food. And exactly. Exactly. It's crazy that, that um, in Canada alone, we throw away enough food every year to end world hunger. You know what is world sad? Hunger. That we take for granted whatever you have at home, right? Because yeah. you go home, you have your food, you open your fridge and you, whatever you want is there. But you know, you never think about how many people right now are facing this insecurity, yes. this situation of not having food. So I really love what Jagger, Jagger, uh, her fiance <laughs> is doing. I really admire that because this is a big, big, big work, big job and it's really beautiful for the community. I really it is. appreciate that. It, re it really that. is. Yeah. And it's crazy to think that, you know, the answers are right here. We often ask, you know, how can we end world hunger? They, well, well, here it is. Here's the here answer. It it's it's Start with shown someone to, close you to you that it can actually be done. So um, if you, you know, if someone's out there and they're not quite aware of what they do, they actually rescue food. So uh, grocery stores, restaurants, all of these kinds of places are throwing away um, perfectly edible food and um, they basically go and rescue this and repurpose it. They'll either cook with it or he'll take it to the feed it forward, uh, pay what you can grocery store and offer it there. Um, so it's actually used in numerous different ways. They also have a program called Feed the Future. Feed the Future. Because, I mean, the At kids school, today, right? yeah, well, they are our future. So mm -hmm, we do want to feed them. We want to make sure they're not, you know, they're functioning on empty stomach. Necessary for the brain. It's necessary for the mm -hmm. brain. And it, this is all so simple. And um, and so I, I'm very passionate about that as well because it's it's very simple and, and their solution is right here. We can all contribute. We can repurpose this food. We can make sure that it's accessible to everyone because even in Canada, you think a lot of people are surprised to hear that in Canada we have so many people, yeah, people with food insecurities. One out of every four families is are suffering you to with that? food insecurities. One out of every four. So, oh wow. I mean, the stats are right there and um, the solutions are there as well. So yes. feeditforward.ca. Feed <laughs> and since we're on the topic, the Christmas drive, did you hear yeah, about, yeah, did you ever yeah, go to their Christmas it. drive? Yeah. So every year they, um, we, I should say, feed thousands of people, people. Christmas dinner. So Jager Outside. and his team mm -hmm. are um, working And don't forget hours. that you can volunteer too. Absolutely. So if you go, you can register yourself, volunteer, because this is what we want to do. Mm -hmm. uh, I would like with my daughters to go to the farm when it's um, um, springtime or summertime. We yes. go and we help, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yes, every little I will, bit I will, I, will, I, will, I would love to go because this is an amazing cause, honestly. So go and register yourself to be a volunteer because this is a great cause. So, Jagger, we are with you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I want to tell something funny. How do you meet Jagger? <laughs> um, no, I'm going to tell the story so myself. <laughs> You know what is funny? We're talking about this vain stuff and people thinking that the beauty things are crazy things. I met Jagger in a cover. I was doing cover for a magazine. He was um, in it because he was at Pan American Food Festival. Yes. He was one of the um, cover uh, stars. So <laughs> I was doing his makeup and I said, okay, what about it? What do you think if you go and sponsor Miss Universe? And he was like, oh, no, 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 no. I'm not going, no, 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 don't. <laughs> I'm not interested in that thing, you know. Send me info and I say if I go. And he said like three times, like, oh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. One time he said yes. And he became partner, like part of the Miss Universe Canada as a sponsor. And guess what? He met this gorgeous. <laughs> I happen to be judging when he was a sponsor. She was it's judging. Really he was sponsored. They meet, and now what? They are gonna be married. She's Isn't our Cupid. It She's our Cupid. See, I told Cupid. you she does many things. Many things. Isn't it crazy? It Just is very. It's a small how, world, how and it's a world mystical, connect. magical world, right? How come? I, I was the other day. I was thinking about you guys when you are get engaged, and I was mm -hmm. like, oh my god. Yeah. It's just only one world, one one yes. one connection leads yeah. to another, an action. And now Exactly. My God, this is yeah. crazy. So this is the story. It, and I hope Jagger is watching this. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes, we have to thank our Cupid over here. <laughs> you know. Okay. If you need to find someone, just let me know. I will see what kind of how I can Well, do. she has access to all the Miss Universe Canada girls. <laughs> <laughs> yes. 
All right. So what's the movie you are right now? Because I know you're posting something about a movie. What is that? Yeah. So I'll tell, tell you, it's an interesting story. So it was actually a movie that we shot 12 years ago. <laughs> That's right, 12. Oh, my so God. 12 years ago, we shot this independent film, and um, and the producer and director, they ended up releasing other films. And now there's been all this interest, and it was picked up by numerous different film festivals across the world. Oh, wow. um, so it was actually premiering at TIFF Lightbox yesterday. <gasps> And um, I know I didn't Tiff. invite a lot of people, but there's a reason. <laughs> yeah, I, haven't seen, I haven't seen the movie. <laughs> so I was like, I got to see this movie first. Make sure it's okay. And then I invite people. <laughs> um, if I look okay. <laughs> exactly. So, no, it's, all, uh, it's actually showing again December 15th. So I will let I everybody know. And you're, of course, invited. Um, but, yeah, I got to see it for the first time, which was quite interesting. And it's really funny because there was even scenes that I forgot completely for, I forgot I was a, so I played a, like a smoker in the movie oh, okay. and I had forgotten that so there's one part I pull out a cigarette my mom's like what you're smoking and I'm like the character oh smokes God. what am I gonna so do but, but you can almost like tell smoking. I was definitely bad at smoking like you mm -hmm. can tell I'm, I'm definitely not skilled enough it's just the character it was the okay. character so, just so you know Exactly. The character so was very angry all the time. Oh, okay. She's very angry. So you have anger management so oh, Okay. You got to play all roles. <laughs> okay. What about the book? Because I saw one thing. What What did you do? What's the collaboration or what is the book about? So um, the book is basically called Magnetic Entrepreneur and uh, Magnetic. it's called Personal Development. So I was contacted by Robert Moore who is the publisher of the book. Okay. And uh, he had actually done a book with Jagger previously. Okay. Um, so the, that's kind of, again, one person always, like uh -huh. the whole loop that we were talking about. Um, so he had asked me if I was interested to do a chapter in this book. It's, it's co-authors and um, he explained to me kind of what it's about. And uh, because I was familiar through Jagger's book, I decided I will do it. Now I'll tell you something. Why? Initially, when you think about writing a chapter or a book or writing your story, because now we're talking about biography, right? Um, I think it sounds like a cool idea, but when you're actually doing it, it's really kind of emotional. The oh, process wow. itself is really like you kind of feel raw and like <laughs> <laughs> stripped of clothes like I don't I can't explain but there was really moments and then also I I had to really decide what parts I was going to put in and take out I don't know if I'm ready for everything, everything. to be in there and I actually had to sit down and read it to my parents because there's parts about okay. them there's parts about me that they didn't know and when I was sitting down reading it to them I had a good cry oh, oh <laughs> so there was God, really a process so behind it oh that God. was very emotional and so um I think I feel like I, I kind of wish everybody could write, to write a book to write because a book. I think just the you process know, is... I, I hear some writers saying the same thing. It's an yeah. emotional process, like yeah. seeing yourself from different perspective. Like, oh my God, I read books about someone else, but when it's about me, mm -hmm. how is this coming out? It's just exactly. moving everything <laughs> inside of you. It and is. the past come, yes. and then it shows you something that you're like, oh my God, maybe that's why I'm like the way I am. <laughs> Yes, right? yes facing, a lot of things surface. Realities. You think, yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. you, exactly. And it, and then it actually inspired my next project, which I have not fully ready to release all details, know, but I'm super know. excited about it. When that thing is ready, I need to know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> all I can tell you is it is moving towards the direction of women empowerment. And awesome. um, that's all I can kind of say right now. And I'm really excited. But the book is what, what inspired that in me writing this book. Oh, my God. I'm so happy it's to hear that. Oh, my God. That's so good. <laughs> okay, guys. We're going to commercials. And we'll be back with some more about Samantha Tajik. Thank you so much for being connected. <laughs> La comunidad cristiana y del Monte de Santidad le invita a sus reuniones de crecimiento espiritual. Cada domingo a las 10.30 de la mañana en 49 Sandringham de Brampton, Ontario. También puedes acompañarnos los viernes a las 6.30 de la tarde para estudiar juntos la Palabra de Dios. Y si te encuentras en Toronto, estamos en el 88 Park Lawn en Etobicoke. Todos los miércoles a las 7 de la noche, juntos creceremos espiritualmente estudiando esa hermosa Palabra de Dios. Ven y compartamos juntos este tiempo de edificación espiritual. Te esperamos. Hablando entre mujeres, tu programa que es diseñado para toda mujer 
que le gusta avanzar, que está esperando mucho más allá de ser tú misma. Hablando entre mujeres todos los días martes a las 7 de la noche, acompáñanos a tener una noche amena. So for you that you're listening, Hablando entre mujeres, Talking Between Women is the program you want to belong. Just come every Tuesday at 7 p.m. and we'll be gladly give you some details about women empowerment. Si quieres la mejor opción, sabemos que tu casa es tu mayor inversión. Marcela Cano, Carlos Zuluaga, si quieres vender o comprar, tu casa es nuestra prioridad. Para mayor información, 647-297-0506 y 647-404-2171. And we are back with Samantha Tajik. So before we continue with Samantha, so I wanted to tell you more about uh, my business. Remember, we're going to be in a Latinas Business Woman um, Conference. And it's about our small business. My small business is about beauty. Uh, we provide beauty around GTA. So we also do education. We educate the girls uh, if they want to be makeup artists or if they want to learn how to do abdus for uh, bride, bride events. So we also cover bridal, functional bridal events. And you can call us to the number that is already here. Okay, so we are back with Samantha Tajik and we have a lot to learn from this woman. A lot. Honestly, <laughs> honestly. I'm like, oh my God, you. Samantha, you're very smart. Thank I really you. like that. <laughs> I like you. smart people. <laughs> I do too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going to talk about hair um, um, supermodel mm -hmm. search. What is that? How do you came up with it's that idea? Baby. It's so. the it's <laughs> baby. She's the director, the founder, the director, the coach, everything. So tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, so you know, um, being part of so many different pageants and being an international model in the past, mm -hmm. uh, walking away with all my experiences, I kind of... Um, just wanted to find a way to be able to provide that to other people and to come up with something innovative and cool and, and unique. Yeah. And so I, I kind of looked around me and I thought, you know, Canada doesn't really have anything like this, especially for male models. That's I have to tell you, true. For, for females, there are some things out there, but I wanted to set something at very high caliber. I wanted to incorporate, you know, international designers and, and sort of really give them the experience of what model life is model like. Life. Um, mm -hmm. And although it's a competition, it's a modeling competition, um, again, going back to everyone's a winner, I really <laughs> think, honestly, like anyone who puts himself through that, it comes oh, out yeah. there, it comes to the our airports. castings, mm -hmm. that comes to our finale watching them grow through the days that they're with us is just so rewarding um so what we do actually we do a nationwide search so we hold castings across oh, canada wow. and uh, canada. thousands of hopefuls apply <gasps> so we have the hard job of narrowing it down with our wow. judge panel and we select the top 100 which is announced wow. online then okay. there's some online voting that goes on and from there we select the finalists that will fly down and stay at our host hotel for three nights to compete in five challenges and wow. um, we try to be really creative with these challenges and we have been so lucky to have amazing sponsors and partners we've had hp canada we've had l'oreal clarion medical um dr corey torgerson um please forgive me like i'm trying to remember all the lexus we've had i mean <laughs> lexus, we've had some really amazing trade secrets, trade secrets was our Don't presenting forget. sponsor for a couple <laughs> years yes um So we've been very, very lucky with the type of sponsors and partners we've had. Um, and it's just been growing. So we're in our fourth year. Wow. And, um, Congrats. <laughs> thank you. Fourth years. And every time that I see it, it's better. Better and better. We try. And better. We try to keep yeah, improving. No, I really and that's, love it. That's the I really whole love thing. It. And thank all you. The, the participants, they are so amazed being there. They're like, oh my God, and me participating in this. And they get a lot of, uh, you know, empowered from you. That's event. our goal. That's our goal. And you know, my favorite part is actually not the, the, the finale. It's not the name no. of the show. It's not when the winners, I do love when the winners call. Of but, course. You know, but my favorite part is actually the morning after when they're all departing. I, I purposely make emotional. it a point to go to oh the lobby because I can't tell you like 
I can't, I, I'm like kind of lost for words right now, but when they are saying bye to, not even to me, but to each other, seeing the relationships, just in three days, the relationships oh that these God. models form, the <sighs> friendship, the, the emotions running wild, it's, uh -huh. it's, it's just so touching. Um, and that in itself, I think it's my favorite part. And to of this course, day, I can course. look back to our models who competed three years ago. They still have group chats. They're still <gasps> helping each other out. Some oh of them are best God. friends. It's just like to know that you were part of people building that type of relationship is kind of priceless. It's How priceless. How beautiful that you are creating connections. Connections. And this is something important these days, you know? Yes, Because absolutely. this pressure that social media is creating uh, these days yes. in young people. Yeah. They feel alone sometimes. Absolutely. They feel like they don't matter. And that's why suicide is coming very often in this North America. And mm -hmm. I really like the part when you said they create connections, they cry, they hug each other. Yeah. They create, you know, groups and chats and stuff and they became best friends. This is very important, Samantha. It's so So because important. you are giving something that is an interaction. Interaction is something that is missing in this a group of young people. I couldn't agree Right, more. the interaction. Yeah. So it's easy for them to text and send emojis, emojis, emojis. I love you, I love you with emojis only. Yeah. But when they, it comes to interact yes. with people in real life, it's crazy. They don't even know how to do it. They become yeah. like socially awkward and that yes. is why they feel like alone, left out. So it's I think true. this type of uh, content, because you create challenges, right? And the mm -hmm. challenges are making them feel like they can do something extra in yes. life, that they can achieve something, that they, they can overcome something. So that's why they, they connect that yes. way. That's Absolutely. why. Yeah. Because in the challenge, they need to compete. But yeah. at the same time, they are like interacting with other people. Yes. So I think yes. this is very beautiful. This is beyond beauty. <laughs> Right? Do you see? You see how important Thank this you. is. It. Yeah. She's giving to these kids an important tool that right now is left out. Interaction. Interaction. We need it. Even parents right now at home. Mm -hmm. Parents feel like they, they cannot communicate so with kids because they are in the phone the whole time. Yeah. No. Absolutely. I right? absolutely agree. You wouldn't but even imagine exactly. how much. <laughs> You, you would agree? imagine how much I agree because I'm actually one person who tries to always make sure I don't feed into that. Mm -hmm. If you look at my social media, like people will say, I don't get it. Like, shouldn't you have more followers? Shouldn't it be this? And I'm like, no, because no. you know what? I, you're right. I don't post a lot. I don't. And it's funny because I actually work in marketing as well. So <laughs> I understand the need to do that to uh -huh. some degree, but I will not sell my soul to that. I will not put aside the enjoyments of life. I'm not going to no. go to a dinner and spend half of it taking photos of my food. I refuse to give <laughs> into that. I refuse. Yeah, that's true. I refuse. I will rather enjoy that moment. And I don't need other people to see it. I don't need the validation. And unfortunately, it has become a lot about that validation. The validation. And these days, you are so right, Samantha, because people are judging you or they are qualifying you according to how many followers do you have, how many posts, how many likes. And this is sad. Because the same thing they are telling yeah. to you, they tell me, oh, you're a makeup artist and you do makeup for Miss Universe and blah, blah, and you don't have many followers and you don't have, a... I'm like, you know what, honey, I have a life. <laughs> I have two girls and I really enjoy being with yes. them, you know, yeah. like projecting something different. That is why I'm here in this program, because I want to let people know that in this industry, we are humans too, and we can we have to live our lives as normal as possible, and don't fall in the trap of the social media, right? Because yeah. this is how the world is, is yeah. going right now. Absolutely, and you know, with with fame and with with being a public figure, anything like that comes there. There's a negative downside to it too. I have to tell you, you <laughs> have to be really strong to be able to put up with that, um, because there is a lot of online bullying. There is a lot of <gasps> yes. um, negative vibes in that regard and you have to be able to put that aside you have to be able to find that strength within you to look past it and um it's really unfortunate because i, I I've, I've seen how it impacts lives i've actually lost a friend not too long ago oh, that was yeah, already unstable and i'm sure that you know that that just pushed it just pushes a person just that one step off the edge, you know, and I've been, I've been a victim to it myself numerous times. And, and it is, when I say this, I don't mean like someone just wrote like, you're ugly. No, no. some of these people, it is absolutely astonishing to me that they, that they put 
this much time and energy into hating someone. It's literally, <laughs> if you took that time and energy that you put into Doing writing those posts good. and making like 10 fake accounts to keep writing those posts, I feel like you really could have done something amazing for yourself. Oh, yeah. And it's it's actually sad because when I see that, I'm like, I kind of feel bad for them. I don't feel bad I for know. me because they said something bad for about them. me. For them. I, I really do and I'm not trying to be like, boo. No, it's, it's <laughs> you got to think that comes exactly. from a place of hurt. Hurt people hurt people. And That's so, true. so That's those true. people are, are hurting inside and this is how they're lashing out onto you. Mm -hmm. And honestly, so I kind of like wish upon them forgiveness and, and help. And That's beautiful. And forgiveness yeah. and feel bad for them because honestly, they need a life. They need to, you know. They need more, they need some sort of support and guidance support. and something in their life. That that's the message. Find some help because if you are taking time, like Samantha said, to hate someone, to put that much effort to hate people, please find help. Honestly, because this is not going to help you, right? So if you hate that person, what is the <coughs> difference you're going to make in your life hating that person? You suffer more. The thing yes, that I feel more. is like feeling that anger and hatred and negativity within within you actually. Mm -hmm. It hurts you, hurts you you're more. the one that's suffering and so you, you are angry all the time yeah so it's about that release and it's about that for, when you forgive someone it's not necessarily for that person it's actually for, for you yourself too. like it's kind of it's selfish but you need to forgive and move past it and and, and, and do it for yourself choose positivity in your life that's right true. so oh, tamanda i really love talking to you we can spend the <laughs> night talking a lot right yeah, it's very totally. fun it's very it fun. fun it's very fun so we have a couple of uh, things so I want you to take one of my brushes and find some questions here. Oh, that is so <laughs> cool. You see how she yeah. cute you are? And what a cute mug. Okay. So they have questions. So pick, on yeah, them. I have questions. Okay. Biggest fear. My biggest fear. What's the biggest fear? This is a really hard one. <laughs> I feel like you have to face your fears. This is hard because, of course, I have fears, but I always try to push myself out of my comfort zone and try to make myself okay. face my fears. So naturally, I have them, but I don't know what's my biggest fear. Like, um, It's fine. It's fine. Maybe it have never to be getting big. to, like... <laughs> to to experience everything i want to in life like i'd okay. love to have children in a family one day oh. maybe that's my biggest fear to never never get Fulfill to feel ex those ex mm. ex <laughs> experience experience <laughs> i'm so scared i can't talk <laughs> that's my so biggest fear. <laughs> okay perfect but it's fine samantha you're going to have them okay next question oh no you have to pick that oh i have to pick it okay <laughs> Oh no, this one doesn't have a question. Boo. Wild card. <laughs> That's what I get to choose. I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, biggest challenge. Mm -hmm. You have facing life. Um, I think my, well, I've overcome a lot of challenges and I think I've, I, they have all helped me grow. I think um, you need challenges and you need to fail. That's how you grow. That's how you learn. That's how, that's how you find a better way. Mm -hmm. And so, um, my biggest challenge would have been through my childhood. Um, okay. I was bullied a lot and Aww. I had like no friends and I spent most of my lunch and any break in a bathroom stall hiding. <laughs> so uh, that was definitely my biggest challenge, biggest challenge. in life. Um, but moving past it, I think it's made me a very independent person. Um, and it's also taught me to be uh, compassionate towards People, other people and um yeah i think at the end of the day i can only see like there's a lot of positives that have come out of it but that was certainly my biggest, the challenge. biggest challenge and one of my favorite things as miss universe canada was doing the school assemblies and telling those kids my story because when you walk in with the sash and crown they at first are kind of and you know they're, they're talking and they're, they're kind of like okay this girl but then when you start telling them the story <laughs> mm -hmm. and that you were bullied and you're picked on you had no friends or kind of quiet they, they're like they, oh, Oh my God, this is what? happening to me. So Right? They feel identified. Exactly. They can relate to they you. Relate. And so that I loved. I loved getting to, to tell my story and have them come up to me after. And a lot of them share with me um, what they had gone through. So it's very, it's amazing. The it's challenge. Samantha. <laughs> the biggest challenge. That's good. Because you've been, um, oh, you've, you face the challenge, but you're here right now. 
And this is yeah. beautiful because many kids these days, they commit suicide because they feel so, yeah. uh, they're the pressure of being bullied and they don't know what to do, right? So that's another yeah, thing, find help. Don't, you're not alone. You're not exactly. alone. Exactly. And I yeah. really like what Alisa Boston is doing right now, which is supporting mental health. Yeah, yeah. And this is a good movement, so you have to follow yeah. her too. Mental health mental is Mental health huge. is a huge problem. Huge. But the thing too is um, a lot of times... Like I know a lot of people are working towards spreading awareness that this is an issue, but mm -hmm. I feel like we also have to, to address how can we help these people? Because not just it's not just about being aware that someone has this issue, but how do you help them? Because I've been in that scenario mm -hmm. where someone has reached out to me and I really was trying as hard as I can to help them, but I'm not a professional therapist oh, for true. that. And so I felt really stuck in a place where I didn't, know what to do and when I went to people that I look up to for advice um you know it was suggested to me that I need to tell the police to help her and I and I, it's just a very it's a it's very tough spot it's, because yeah, I, I felt like if I do that I'm just going to make her feel betrayed and so it was a very very tough oh, yeah, spot to be in tough. so I think it's also about educating everyone on like what can you do to really help to yeah, help what can you do to so help. that's I think really important very very yeah so we are finishing our program and we are very happy Samantha very happy to have you very happy to be here thank honestly you for having me. Thank oh you. my god learning a lot from this woman <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for being with us and Samantha, thank you thank so you much. For, thank you for having me. For being here. Buenas so. noches. <laughs> Buenas noches. So see you next Besos. Monday, 8 p.m. <laughs> Besos. <laughs> You're so cute. Hi, <laughs> right, Samantha. We are out. En Línea TV, tu nueva opción en radio online. Síguenos en redes sociales como 2 en Línea TV. Porque 2 es mejor que 1. Por eso ustedes y nosotros somos 2 en Línea. 2 en Línea TV, la, la nueva, nueva propuesta, propuesta en radio digital. digital.